in the book of James chapter 5 verse 16. James chapter 5 verse 16, the Bible says, Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, put away anger and bitterness from me and from those that refuse to forgive me. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, put away anger and bitterness from me and from those that refuse to forgive me. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, put away anger and bitterness from my life and from those that refuse to forgive me. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, put away anger and bitterness from me and from those that refuse to forgive me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is apologizing dreamingly. Apologizing dreamingly. To apologize is to express regret for something that one has done wrong. Did you dream of someone apologizing to you? Or you dream that you apologize to someone? Maybe in your dream, you saw where someone was apologizing to the person you know. Apologizing in the dream reflects a time to say sorry to someone. We can say sorry to God for our sins, or we can say sorry to someone that we have offended or hurt in some ways. The word apology is strong enough to heal us. Once it is expressed, we feel calm, peaceful, and happy. The word apology is strong enough to heal us. Once it is expressed, we feel calm, peaceful, and happy, especially when the person forgives us. For example, when someone offends us and comes to apologize, do it can be very painful to accept the apology and forget the hurt. But as a child of God, we need to find it in our heart to forgive that person easily. Sometimes a refusal to forgive others or holding grudges against others can block our blessings and goals in life. Accepting an apology doesn't make you cheap or weaker as a person. You did this because you want peace to reign so that your Heavenly Father can easily forgive you too. Dreams of apologizing to someone is to express the regret or action made against someone in the waking life. Every time you remember the wrong thing you did for that person, since then, you will not have that peace of mind. For example, when you apologize spiritually, you have a claim that you have sinned against someone or against God by confessing them out one after the other. Also be rest assured that the Holy Spirit will pardon your sin and have mercy upon you as a result of pardoning someone's sin or forgiving someone. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12, Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12, the Bible says, Say, hatred stirs up strifes, but love covereth all sins. The Bible also says, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. According to 1 John chapter 1 verse 8, Irrespective of the hurt or the offense, let's find it in our heart. Let's be free to apologize very fast or forgive people easily than depriving them of that blessings. Because if you refuse to forgive someone, that says, I am sorry, that come to apologize to you, then that person will be free, but God will judge you, and God will not help you or forgive you too, according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 to 15. If someone hurts you, please forgive the person quickly and let love reign, according to James chapter 5, verse 16. To so dream that you apologize to someone, but the person refuses to accept it, it may mean the person is here to forgive you and forget your heart. For example, a man broke up with you in a relationship at the edge of your marriage. You feel shocked and disorganized, frustrated and depressed. You feel you are finished. After years later, the man came back to apologize to you. You say you can't forgive him again. Depending on the hurt, forgiving someone easily can be very, very difficult to do. But for the sake of destiny, forgive and move on with your life. For someone to apologize to you in the dream or reality, it means the person is regretting his or her action and now is coming to you to ask for your forgiveness so that both of you can stay together in love. But some people are not asking for forgiveness just to come into your life, but because a certain man of God told them to meet you to apologize so that you can forgive them so that the person can have success in their life. The same thing say applies to you. Maybe as a person, a man of God told you that you should meet a particular person and ask and apologize for what he did. And the moment the person forgive you, then your ways will open. Let's find it in our heart to forgive people easily, irrespective of what they have done. By the time we forgive, by the grace of God, those things, let it be erased from our life, and the Lord Almighty will forgive us and have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, 
First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, the Bible says, When I was a child, I speak like a child. I understood as a child. I taught as a child. But when I became a man, look at this word. I put away childish things. I put away childish behavior. When you realize your mistake as a child of God, it's the first sign that you are getting things right. Sometimes dreams of apologizing to someone can also be a sign from God for you to apologize to that person. You need to take away your pride and ego and do the needful. But if someone is apologizing to you, then you need to put away your grudges and make peace with that person. As a result of this dream, where you are seeing your father apologizing to you, it may mean that your father or someone else wants to open up something to you. You need to give them that room for them to express themselves. If you're doing that, you forgive your father, but not your mother. It shows that your mom has done something wrong to you, which has made you to regret today. Don't worry. Forgive and pray so that God can touch and transform our life too in Jesus' name. To see a dead person apologizing to you in a dream, it means your enemy is asking for permission to deal with you. If you see yourself apologizing to the dead in the dream, it means you are going to face big storm in your life. May you never experience big storm that will swallow your life in Jesus' name. In Luke chapter 17 verse 3 to 4, Luke chapter 17 verse 3 to 4, the Bible says, If your brother sin, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And if he sin against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times, saying, I repent, you must forgive him. Forgive people that come to apologize. Do not hold that thing against them. Forgive and forget. And everything will bounce back to normal in Jesus' name. If someone has come to you to say he or she is sorry, the Bible says you must forgive him. You must forgive that person. Otherwise, your Father in heaven will not forgive you. In conclusion, let allow Lord lead in our life. Let us take away ego and pride and daily ask God for forgiveness of our sin and mercy. May the Lord give us that spirit of love in Jesus' name. Instruction. Can you read the following Bible verses? 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31, Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 to 15, James chapter 5 verse 16, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 to 7, Matthew chapter 18 verse 15 to 17, 1 John chapter 4 verse 7, John chapter 15 verse 13, and lastly, Romans chapter 14 verse 19. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Father Lord, empower me to confess my sins in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, empower me to confess my sins. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, empower me to confess my sins in Jesus' name. Say, O oh Lord, forgive me of my sins today and help me to be a better person. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, forgive me of my sins today and help me to be a better person. Help me to be a better person. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, forgive me of my sins today and help me to be a better person in Jesus' name. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to forgive those that have hurt me. And heal me of their wounds in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me to forgive those that have hurt me. And heal me of their wounds in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me to forgive those that have hurt me. And heal me of their wounds in my life. In Jesus' name. Say, O oh Lord, let all those that have hurt in life find it in their heart to forgive me. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let all those that have hurt in life find it in their heart to forgive me. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, let all those that have hurt in life find it in their heart to forgive me in Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say, Father, let your mercy locate those that have forgiven me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let your mercy locate those that have forgiven me. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy locate those that have forgiven me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for you as you are making that decision. To apologize to that person your ways will open and as you forgive that person i pray your own ways will also open in jesus name we pray amen if this broadcast has blessed you share it to your friends and family once again this is evangelist joshua from lagos